If you got Oh, what the I hell? I hope you're not Edward Broad. Because you don't look at all like the picture. You want to tell me what's going on here? Arts and crafts? Looks like an old toy factory to me. Except something tells me it's not toys you make here. This is Drachomir's place. The men outside are his men. They use it to... Well, to run whatever scam they have going at the time. And what scam do they have going right now? Documents. I make forgeries for Drachomir and his men. Fake permits and passports and police credentials. Whatever he wants or whatever he thinks he can push on people. Basically, if Drachomir tells me to make it, I make it. So it's a forgery ring, and you're pretty much at the heart of it. Makes me sound like a ringleader. Milena is no ringleader. I just... I'm not very good at saying no to people who point guns at me. Sure. How did you get mixed up with these scam artists? I started forging documents to help my friends. There were people in my life I didn't want to lose. To watch someone get displaced just because they are augmented. Displaced to the Udalek complex, Gollum City. There are people there who do not deserve to be. They are sent to hell simply because their permits aren't up to date enough. So you work for these guys because you think it's the right thing to do? I work for them because they scare me. The men outside, their job is to protect me. <laughs> Either I fulfill the orders Drachomir throws at me, or... or he does that whole gun-waving thing. I do not like guns. What else can you tell me about Drachomir? He runs a fake police checkpoint with some friends of his. The police credentials are made for them. They are some of my best work. Very convincing. Unfortunately. So the real cops. They think Drahamir is one of them? Ha! Huh. Either that, or he pays them off. They say there is a brotherhood among police officers. I guess it extends even to the fake ones. I've already run into your friend Drahamir. He tried to push some new permit on me. Make me believe my docs weren't up to date. He does this to dozens of people a day. Intimidates them into paying him over and over. He preys on their fears of being deported. In a perfect world, someone would stand up to him. Someone like you, maybe? Sure. You think I just walk around shooting people? Don't you? But um, psh. I like knowing there are other options. Okay, so stab him, scare him, or get the police to do their job for once. I remember Drahumir mentioning this cop who threatened him. She was hanging around his checkpoint. Who knows? Maybe there really is one good cop in Prague. That sounds like the safest bet. Otherwise, you're asking me to pick a fight with a bunch of guys in uniforms, scam artists or not. The whole city would come down on you. Still, up to you how you want to handle it. Right. And just so we're clear, you are going to stop forging documents now. I don't like getting into trouble. And even worse is other people suffering because of me. No more faking documents ever again. Unless someone really, really needed one. Then I'd probably do it. I mean, if we knew for a fact that we could help someone, we should do whatever we can, right? It depends what you have in mind. The docs I make, they really can fool the authorities. Sort of. Sort of? Drachomir flooded the streets with forgeries, so the city started tracking more, adding scanners, validation numbers. Now, unless one of my permits gets activated in the city database, it's just plastic. So you're telling me these people pay for forgeries and then probably get deported anyway? It doesn't have to be that way. I have two permits that I literally just made. And I think we can really help these people. If you're willing. Sure. Alright, how do we help? 
Their names are Edward Broad and Irenka Bauer. Drachomir was going to charge them like 20 more times. But maybe you could just give them the forgeries? Early Christmas present? But it's just plastic that people get deported anyway. How does this help them? I think I know how to get them activated. As long as you're willing to follow through. All right. I'll go meet Edward and Irenka. In the meantime, are you going to be okay here? Once they learn that Drahomir's been taken care of, the others will leave me alone. He's the one I'm scared of. I've already taken care of the guys outside. They won't be a problem. Thank you. As mysterious military types go, you're pretty neat, I guess. <laughs> uh. By the way, there is a safe over there where they keep their money. I'll give you the code. 2489. Feel free to help yourself. What about you? Way ahead of you. <laughs> I'm gonna take your beer! Sure. Breaking down that pistol. God, I have so many parts now, don't I? What the hell? Damn, this shit is locked up tight here. Damn, this is another one that I literally could have gotten at the very beginning of the game. Very cool. Very cool. Oh, hey. How many times will I just tell you to stop changing the codes? All right. So that's pretty cool. That's exciting. I do not even know how to get out of here now, though. What's that? Take a look around. This guy's gonna go good night once he walks around this corner, though. What? Why are you on the ground? Shit, that's fucking stupid of me. Yeah, that was stupid of me. I really should not have done that. Shit. Dang it. Now I'm wasting all my lovely uh, thingies. Hey. Nineteen eight cameras, turn them off. Off. Alright, so now I at least am hiding a little bit while I'm waiting for everybody to stop freaking out at me. Because I could... Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's go back down this way and see what else there is to see in this uh, lovely place here. Because it seems like there's definitely more down here. Because no, no, no. what's this over here, then? Oh my god, I found, like, the jackpot. I like it down here. If you don't... Then you can just fuck off. You can fuck off! Hold on, I... Oh! Hey! 
cool. What the hell is that thing doing? What is panicking? Who is shooting at what? Oh, I guess they're after me still. I guess. What the hell is going on here? I've I've literally have no idea what's going on. What the hell? Come on. All right. What the hell just happened there? I literally have no idea. Local scan completed. Maintaining cautious patrol. All right. Because, uh, I forgot that painkillers actually allow you to basically have a, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, like, it extends your health, basically. Oh, I guess they got killed in the process, so they were thinking that I did it, whoopsies, that sucks. Like, it sucks that they got caught up in it, but, I mean, it's not my fault at all. Like, I mean, you know. What the hell is that down there? Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting game. But yeah, this is cool. I like going searching for shit. It's fun. Alright, so let's just hack it. Anomaly detected. Alright, that sucks a little bit, but whatever. Granted. All right, that was easy. So, I am I'm so interested in all of this weird shit that I keep doing. That's a door. Where does the door lead? Man, he's really nervous about the lady's shipment. Okay, wow. No, to je mi pěkný. Plechovka. Myslím, že byste se měla radši někde zpátky. Plecháči. Tady lidi nejsou tak slušný, jako na starém městě. What can I get you? Beer? Something else? What else have you got? Oh, just an item of interest. 
For someone who lives off of their sales, you're unusually reserved. Well, sometimes it's hard to know who to trust, especially these days. Sure, here you go. Thank you. I can't tell you how much this means. Wow. These are tough times. We all have to do what we can. You understand. That's... You have no... I... The neuropazine isn't even for you. <laughs> no, it's not. Okay. I'm glad I could help. Listen, I can't let you leave without thanking you properly. I store a few supplies in the basement. The co... Thanks. Cool. Don't mention it. Like you said... Let's see those odds and ends. Oh. Coolie. You can't go wrong with that. I'm good for As you That's kind of cool. So now she said in the basement. Is that down here? Ooh, that's that shit that I want. Um, yeah, give me that, give me that, give me that. Ooh, yes, give me all of those. You see, I, wow, shit, there's so much stuff that I just, like, walked right past. Like, damn. Damn, I really fucked myself here, didn't I? Alright, so I'm assuming, is that the basement she was talking about, then? Or is there a different place? That has more shit in it, possibly. Oh, oh, cool. So pretty much, yeah, okay, so that's cool. Even though I got it for free. Because I'm a jerk and stuff. Rad, okay. So that's just another thing down here that I just found randomly. Like, I know it may seem like I'm just kind of dicking around, but, like, this has got me really interested in all this, like, really random stuff that I'm just finding here. Alright, so I guess let's keep going this way a little bit. Please, don't tell anyone. Viznik's not supposed to be here. Shh, but I am here. I'll take your word for it. I was part of it. The, the, the... Disconnected? If there is a lack of understanding between my brains, may not always... Not like who? To... to... together... they... Okay, come on. This is annoying. You've obviously been... Yes, okay. What's a cry for help? The... the... the little mind thing. The persuasion. He's trapped by what he can do. Just like the rat makes so much sense now. Those most scared of what the world had become were most likely to cling to the first alternative. Let me see if I got this straight. Every- Exactly. Go beyond the gate, confront somebody, somebody who's harmed you, blah blah blah. You're okay. asking me to go- They need to be eased out. The hell is this? Cult of personality. Holy shit, I got a lot of stuff, huh? That's cool. Disney could use some help. Stranger, he shouldn't be. Outsider is not one of us. Do not look at him. He will harm us. He cannot harm us. He will behave himself. He will be made to behave. Richard will know what to do. He will listen to Richard. Richard, protect us, Richard. 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 Come closer. Let me see you. There's nothing to be scared of. Everyone's worst impulses get checked at the door, yours included. I hope you understand the need for it. We preach pacifism here. Alternatives to terror. Don't want animals dragging in the mud. Who are you? What, what, what is all this? This. This is what the new freedom looks like. 
a collaborative elaboration of the imaginative experience. An experiment of some kind. We're beyond experiments. We're establishing truths, new models of belonging and community, ones in which people can actually live. You are a little utopia. There's a man outside who... He asked, he asked me to come. He said you... A man outside. I know what it's like outside. Trapped between acts of humiliation and acts of terror. Between resolutions and registry codes. The canned laughter. The scripted dreams. It's no longer a place for people. I came because it... I thought something was... It... It's wrong. I had reason to believe something's wrong. Everything is wrong. That's why we're here. Bracketing out the terrors. If only in this one tiny corner of the world. Allow me to suggest something. A version of you. A version that strips away all suspicions, free of the sinister cells we cling to along the way. Here, you can be free of the injustices, the suffering, your own animal impulses. Finally, you can be human. What the hell? Yeah, like the like it was going like all off the charts. I mean, some is the desire to please him is overwhelming. Richard is a great man. What the hell? Um. Physics said I had to see through you, your attempts at manipulation, to see you for what you. Do. Some wow. Some part of you abhors violence. Some part of everyone does. See, I know you better than you know yourself. I know you don't want to hurt anyone. All right, it seems like I'm not going to be able to, like, fight back, so let's just indulge. I don't know for a fact that you're doing anything wrong. That's because I'm not. Unless you count saving these people. We live in a world of brutality, repression, exile. The Restoration Act is the single greatest human rights violation of all time. These people deserve better than that. Most men who claim to be saviors, they... You have a skeptical personality. It's understandable. You're a product of your time. No one's forcing you to stay. You, you, you want me to leave? What business? I want you to understand. The people who choose to be here, they are good people. And with my help, they have done something miraculous. They have found a better version of themselves, of society. Promise me you won't jeopardize that. Um, I feel like there's no way we can, because he's going to shut us down. I think he's controlling the augments. That's what it feels like to me, is that he's controlling the augments in your brain, and he's going, nope, uh, uh, sh sh shut that down. So, I don't I think, I don't think there's going to be a way to stop it now. That's I think that we're going to have to do it. That's all I need to hear. I think that we need to, like, explore and do shit. Yeah, you see, because there's also this yellow glow that's around everything. And I feel like... You know what? Good people don't go upstairs. Is a tree of thorns. But not even he can act upon his... Yeah, I can't use any of my augments here. He knows it's wrong. I can't use any of my augments in here.
Jan told me what happened. You lost all your money trying to buy those fake permits. Said you were ashamed. Blah, 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 blah. Lost soul. Alright, so here's what I want to do. Richard and Laborio's explorations of the mind. A hypnotic experience. Take a tail. Hmm. These look like suggestions or laws. Just, they're all couched in some kind of mythology centered around this man, Richard. Alright, so then... I... It said good people don't go upstairs. Who like, do you hear the beeping people? also? You are not your permit classification either. Um, you are not your outdated documents. You are one of us now. We are versioning humanity. Um. Okay, so then I need to find the way up. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do then. We are going to create a save. Like a straight up whole legitimate save. Come to the next stage of our journey. Brace yourselves. Close your inner eyes. We are Get away from there. Shit. We will go to great left to protect what we see. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and do it the easy way. Because it seems like I could do this the, the easy way or the hard way, basically. And... Or more so, it seems like I can... Um... Either... Go and kind of, like, do the whole investigation thing. You're safe here with me. I promise. There's nothing I won't do to keep you here and safe. Like, it, like, it seems like I could investigate everything, or I can just, like, do this thing. Uh-oh. Uppercut, like a motherfucker. I mean, if this seems to be, like, not a good way to go about it, then I'll go ahead and I will re- and I'll do it the other way instead. But, you know. Okay. Um... Yeah, like... I don't know. Do I want to do it this way, or do I want to, like, actually go and kind of, like, not piss off all of these people, basically, you know? Oh, shit. Shit. Yeah, but I feel like that didn't do anything. Yeah, it didn't do anything. Um, all right, yeah, let's go ahead and I am going to reload the save because I feel like it would be better to like do it the the kind of more legit way because like yeah, like, that was incredibly easy for me to do, but at the same point, I feel as though it's not, like, the quote-unquote legit way to do it. Viznik could use some help. I can still hear it. It's like a mosquito in my brain. Okay, you're weird. 
Yeah, that's just the way up to the, uh... The other place there. Alright, yeah, let's go ahead and let's just... Let's go back out then. I mean, that's fine. Oh, is this, like, right near my apartment, too? Hey! Yeah, it is. Okay, that's pretty cool, then. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and use these Praxises now. Um... I kind of would like to put one into Hacking Stealth. And then, I will go ahead, and I'll get another one into the defense, which then will open it up to now I can get the one that's like the EMP stuff. Increase- oh, cool. I didn't even realize that those were a thing. You think I don't we can't let them get away with this. All right, yeah, so let's go ahead and let's do no, this one, then. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and very quickly... All right, yeah, so now that's my... Find a way to confront him. My okay. Skin is crawling. Yeah, so I just think that this would be the more, as I said, like, legit option and kind of, like, getting the more... the full story, I guess, is probably the best way to put it. Because I like... Uh, it really just depends on the case, I think, but, like, you know, I do enjoy doing things the more complicated but legitimate method. Oh, right. Alright, so now, let's see then. What can we do? I- I'm so surprised that I missed out on all of these optional side quests. I mean, I'm glad I found them, but, you know, it still makes me feel dumb that I missed out on them in the first place. I can help you with something, yes? I'm looking for Laborio. It is me. You have come for the magic? I'm hoping you can help me make sense of something. A strange encounter I had. A man hiding behind a screen in the sewer, surrounded by followers of some kind. His name is Richard. He used to be partners. Richard is alive. You found him? I'm not sure what I found, but I know I didn't like it. Richard had a way of depriving me. Things I wanted to say and do, but I couldn't. I am so happy he is alive. Richard and I, we... I was sure that he... I should have known. Richard always said, the show must go on. There was nothing entertaining about this. What is he doing down there? How is he doing it? I have not seen Richard in many years. We developed a show together. The evolution of stage hypnosis intensified through technology. Adapted versions of the KC and DDE designs. A social augmentation? In conjunction with modern hypnotic techniques, something much more powerful than mere persuasion. The communal construction of an alternate reality. For three hours on a Friday night, we guided people into brave new worlds. The technology Richard is using to do all this, how does it work? Binaural beats. Richard bounces his source transmission through a series of emitters that use targeted neural oscillation to stimulate specific areas of the basal ganglia. Right. Let's assume I'm not familiar with that particular ganglia. 
Richard is using a system of emitters that can intensify and adjust his frequency, his message, his intent. Imagine it. He can make the very soul of a transmission pierce into the brainwaves of his target audience. I don't need to imagine it. I already know it's terrifying. Why do you think Richard is doing this? What's his end game in trying to hypnotize people in a sewer? I cannot say for sure, but after the incident, after the way things began to change, Richard said he was going to find a better place. I did not hear from him again. The loss of so many people that we knew, I believe it broke him. He didn't seem very broken to me. More like a guru of some kind, with way too much control of the people in that room. No, Richard is not capable of hurting anyone. At least, he was not before. He was an idealist, the kind of man who... The worlds we created together on stage, they were more beautiful than the reality. These worlds you and Richard created through hypnosis, what were they exactly? They were whatever people wanted, created together with the audience. Every night was different. After the incident, we, we were made to stop, treated as criminals. It was not right. People paid for their tickets and embarked on imaginative explorations. We did not hurt anyone. We would never hurt anyone. I'm not sure that's still true for Richard. His audience now, I'm worried they may be trapped. Is that something he could be capable of? Creating a world and keeping people there indefinitely? It depends on the personality. Someone is susceptible to the message, and if Richard keeps repeating it, it is conceivable. Tell me how to stop Richard. Richard is conveying a vision of himself, of themselves, of an alternate community they are building together. If it is Richard's goal to keep the people there, the only way to free them is to make them see through it. Well, how do I do that? Last time I talked to him didn't go so well. The signal he is transmitting, its effect is limited to a specific radius. To the room where the audience is, where the emitters are installed. Wherever Richard is, must be outside of that room. So if I get to him, I'll be able to say or do whatever I want? Yes, but promise you won't hurt him, please. I'm not promising anything. Something tells me if I do get in there, he's not gonna be content to just talk. There may be a better way. The emitters, they are somewhere in the room, yes? Okay then, so wait. You wait. Just wait one second, please. Wait for it. Wait for it. Where are you? Come. Come to me. Wait. Okay. I think I have what I'm looking for. They are scrambling devices, our failsafe whenever things got ugly. Attach them to the emitters and it closes the ability to amplify. Good night. Show's over. Your gods are but men again. And that'll be enough to make the people in the room see through them? I hope. If they have been exposed for a very long time, you need to help them to see. But please be kind to Richard. I don't know what he has become, but I know what he was. A decent man once, who simply believed that the world should be better. We all believe that. But there are better and worse ways of going about it. Yeah, one of these ways is shit and the other is not. His way is pretty shit, to be real with you. So, yeah. Alright, so, yeah, that's cool. So now we got the kind of, um... I don't want to say necessarily pacifist route, because it's not... It's probably not really a pacifist route, but... It's going to at least be more, like, full than just, like, knocking his ass out and shutting off his stuff. Like, I'm sure I'll be able to, like, actually convince the people to, like, leave. And not deal with his shit, you know? Which I do, like, stuff like this where it's like, yeah, that's a cool friggin' thing that is going on here in this quest. Like, I don't mind doing the kind of more fully featured thing, but, you know, 
it really just depends on the situation, I think. Like, like this situation, I do not mind doing it because it's interesting, but others I might do the cheap way, so. Nothing new. All right, so I just got to go basically back to my apartment. So, yeah. This can't be. We can't let them get away with this. You think I don't know Thanks, guys, for letting me just, like, walk right by you and stuff. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to do that. Fuck! Why did I do that? I don't know why I did it. I did it because I'm stupid, is the real answer here. Alright. So, yes. Now let's finish this bad boy off. So now I am actually going to go ahead and create another new save file. Alright. 